Hi guys, uh, let's look at how you can insert data in a form in Microsoft Access. So basically, uh, we shall create a database. So you just right click, go to new database. So we can just uh, call it uh, data entry into a form. Then we open our database. So here we start by creating a table. There is no way you can insert data using a form if you don't have a table. So we create a simple table. Just go to create table design. Here we can have the admission number of the student. We can have uh, the student name. We can have a student form. We can also have student uh, class. Then we can have uh, year of birth. So year of birth here is uh, number. Then here we shall have class form as number, admission number as number, and the primary key. Remember the primary key here is a field that um, uh, doesn't accept duplicates. So here, again, uh, allow me to just insert something like uh, current here. That is current here. Current here, here is number, number, and then we just go to default value. Uh, here, this is the automatic value that will be entered for new fields. It is 2024. So I save my table, save my table as, uh, as students students de details like that so once I do that uh, the next thing is to create a form so I close this one you can see my tables are blank or empty so I again go to create up here uh, I want to insert in using a form so I can opt to use a form wizard so here in this dialog box these arrows are to send everything to your right hand side. So again, I click on next. Here, I want it to be either columna, columna, uh, it's in column form or tabular. Columna is good when you want to capture uh, single records, individual records. But tabular is when you want to capture uh, uh, that is uh, data at once. So I use columna. It, my form is called student details form. Form. I can just call form one. I click on OK. So guys, this is my form. You can uh, edit it as you wish. Like for example, I can right click, go to design view. Then I write this. Then I just uh, give them a uh, black color and also increase the font size to 14. Uh, bold and then write a rhyme. Again, I can work on this one, do the same like that so that I they can be vivid. Then cross this one. Again, I can just try to make this one uh, something nice, something uh, attractive. So I can just up to take it up to that point. Then these ones, you can just make them to equal each other, like that, just to be uh, smart, like that. So I just want to design that form like that. Again, on the same note, uh, if I save this one, save. On the other hand, you can also edit this one, just to make it centered, this one, like that. Then I can read this form one and put some space, just to make my form have a clear finish. Then after doing that, save, go home, click on view. Now, to enter data here, I just need now to type. Like for example, my first admission number is 700. You tab, the first guy here is then it's well, tab, form one, tab, node, tab, uh, year of birth, let's say 2000. Then down here, guys, down here, there are these buttons. This one is next record. This is near, uh, add new, so blank. You click again, 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 go here, 7002, that is my next number. This is Joyce, uh, Joyce Chebet, a tab, form, one, let's say class uh, south, year, year, the year remains, let's say the year of birth is 1996. Again, once you do that, you just go to next, I go to next, go to next, then 
again, then the next dimension number can be 003, 003, then you tab the name here can be something like uh, Ann, Ann, let's say Onyango, uh, the student form, let's say form one, tab, not, uh -huh. for the year you just ignore, let's say the year of birth is 2001, 2001, uh, 2001, then you just go to add new like that again there are some guys who can opt to add some buttons here so just go to design view then go to this button you see this button here this button here uh, this one xxx just click on it then just draw here once you draw you can have this uh, command button so you just go to uh, you can for example click on Go to next record, next, here you click on text, finish. You see now you have that button. Again you repeat, like that. You draw that one, you go to previous, next, text, next, finish. You can include the add new button here, add new button. So you just go to record operations, add new, next. Here always click on text, next, finish. Then once I am done with that one, and just save, click on save, then right click here and cross all. Now, when you go to the tables, guys, you can realize that uh, the forms are actually feeding the, the table. So, thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe, remember to like, and share my video.